Black Canyon. Name itself is a little bit spooky. When we tried to take a shortcut after visiting Mossy Cave Trail and go to Salina, that locate near Interstate 70, so we took Johns Valley Road northbound. It led us to Black Canyon, which is a winding road, and we decide to film this Black Canyon road because it looks cool. Unexpectedly, we saw odd and notable structure by the road in the middle of Black Canyon. Later, we found out they are part of a ghost town Osiris, and it is called the Osiris Creamery and Granary Facility, which were originally built to process milk from local farms. These buildings are now towering remnants of the town's past, standing as a testament to the area's agricultural history. The creamery and granary are located about 13 miles north of Whitstow. While the site is on private property and should be viewed from the road, it offers a fascinating glimpse into the history of rural Utah. The town is founded in the late 1920s by E.F. Holt, a financier developer from Imperial Valley, California. The Black Canyon in Johns Valley likely gets its name from the dark, shadowy appearance of its steep canyon walls. Similar to other canyons named Black Canyon in Colorado, the steepness and depth of the canyon make it difficult for sunlight to penetrate, causing the walls to appear dark or black, but I think dark history of the town Osiris may added meaning to it too. The Black Canyon is a lesser known but equally fascinating area. This canyon is located near the town of Antimony and is part of the Pond Sagant Plateau. The region is characterized by its rugged terrain, scenic vistas, and rich geological features. It's a striking feature that adds to the dramatic landscape of the area. I hope you enjoyed Black Canyon history. Thank you for watching. See you in next episode that will be Eagle Canyon, a part of San Rafael Swell. Thank you.